Hi everybody, thanks for joining me. My name is Sean Shaughnessy. I am the Chief Investment Officer of MDKS Development Company as well as Creative Real Estate Wealth Management. Today I want to talk to you about something that is near and dear to my heart. Uh, it is a book written by a wonderful gentleman by the name of Michael Gerber. Perhaps you've heard of him. He is the author of the book called The E-Myth. And just to give you a little bit of background, the book was actually, it took shape back in the 1980s after Gerber had a considerable stint as a management consultant. And he launched this book in the hopes of showing uh, entrepreneurs the real ball game behind having your very own business. Since then, the E-Myth has splintered off into a franchise, if you will, um, covering numerous different types of businesses. As a matter of fact, there's actually an E-Myth book for real estate investment firms. So I, of course, highly encourage you to take a look at that book. Um, the main premise of the e-myth is that businesses are made up of one of two types of people. You have technicians and then you have entrepreneurs. The myth is that the self-employed technician is an entrepreneur. So let's talk about that for a second. What is a technician that becomes a self-employed uh, individual. Well, first of all, you need to think about what exactly is taking place in the head of the technician when he finally gets fed up and decides to start out on his own. It's usually when he looks at his boss and says, well, I can do that a heck of a lot better than he can. Why don't I just start my own business and we'll go from there. Um, Gerber calls that an entrepreneurial seizure. And I love that term because what happens, so you, can just, you can just picture in your mind all the neurons firing in different, uh, different formats, lightning bolts going through one's head, thunderstorms going through one's head, thinking that they too can be a self-employed entrepreneur when the simple fact of the matter is is that many 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 technicians without guidance are simply reinventing their jobs but doing so in a much more stressful environment after all a technician employed by the boss there's a fairly good chance that you're drawing a salary once every two weeks. If you're self-employed, well that salary goes out the window as does the health insurance, as does perhaps some of the fringe benefits that you enjoyed. Um, now it's all on you. You have to provide for those things. You even have to provide for your own 401k. That no longer exists. So it's up to you to have the things that you already had when you left that business. And it's all because you had an entrepreneurial seizure and before you knew it, you were out the door, you were picking out office furniture, you were having all the fun things that go along with being a self-employed individual. But when the rubber actually met the road, unfortunately, you had reinvented your job and um, turned out that it wasn't all that much fun. Um, the right way to look at a new business venture is through the eyes of a true entrepreneur. And the one thing that an entrepreneur wants more than anything else is to be able to replace himself at the end of the day. Let me explain what I mean by that. When I say replace the person in charge, 
I mean that that particular entrepreneur has a roadmap, an organizational chart of all the different positions, even if he doesn't have those positions or the resources to fill them at that particular time, he has a roadmap and an, entre and a, and an organizational chart that basically outlines how that entrepreneur is going to write himself out of the picture and make sure that revenue is not dependent on him being in the office every single day. Okay? It is a roadmap for success. Okay? It is a roadmap for success, and success is defined in this particular place as being replaceable. And I think everybody would agree that the ability to um, the ability to uh, sit back and collect checks because you had the foresight to start a business that would eventually replace you is certainly a good thing. There's a lot more inside of the e-myth. Uh, I gave you just a uh, a taste. I don't even think it was an appetizer. I think it was just a taste of what the e-myth has to offer to you. And I don't want to spoil the book, so I'm not going to go any further than what I've already gone today. But if you're serious about running your real estate investment business as a business, as opposed to a self-employed endeavor, with lots of stress, with lots of what-ifs, I think you owe it to yourself to pick up a copy of Michael Gerber's E-Myth today. So, again, this is Sean Shaughnessy. Uh, I am the Chief Investment Officer of MDKS Development Company and also Creative Real Estate Wealth Management. And um, thank you so much for watching. Take care.